This is match point. Sydney Lima to serve. I think serving match point wasn't very stressful. Just had so much trust within the team, so I really wasn't that stressed out. When I dug that ball out, I, after I touched I was like, shoot, that might have been out. And I was like, Abby Stomp, you gotta get this ball to someone to hit it. And she did. And then Sydney ended up digging it. It was like off the net, and I was like, I'm just gonna put it outside, like we'll just keep the route going. And I remember Kaylee got a kill, and I was just like in shock, like the best kind of shock though. And it was like so cool, and just like a magical thing. Like I'll always remember that. And I was like, okay, like Kaylee's got this, and then I saw it hit the ground, and I kind of was just like in shock for a little bit, and then, um, I turned around and like saw my team like celebrating and I was like like holy cow like all the work that went in in the spring and like last year like my sophomore year like those trials that we went through like that was like all worth it and kind of like building up to this like big win and it was just like like it kind of just took your breath away. It was just so cool because there's people jumping on me that like I didn't even know. But they're just so dedicated to NA volleyball and just like loved watching us play. It was so fun to have that fan base there for that. And just basically showing off for them and giving them a great game to watch. Um, it was just so much fun. I was in shock and like everyone, all our parents were crying, like we were crying. Like it was just like so emotional that it, it was hard to believe right away, and it still took probably like two weeks for us to be like, that actually happened. Kellum! Jorgensen! The Lumberjacks have done it! History has been made in Flagstaff, Arizona, as the Lumberjacks beat the eighth ranked Florida Gators. Three sets to two here in the Lumberjack Classic. Oh my goodness! I think the Florida match was just like, kind of put us on the map, but just like showed people what we're really about and what we're capable of and that it's a program that's not meant to be looked over. Jorgensen to close it out. Apropos, the senior Big Sky MVP will send the Lumberjacks dancing for the third time in program history. I've never been on a team like this one. Uh, I can hang out with any one person and have the best time. Uh, everyone, all 15, wanted 
the same goal. We all worked for it in practice. The B side made us better, and so they're as much part of it as we are. Like going into the game, like we were all really confident, and we just knew if we played like how we play in practice and in previous games, our system works. Um, we talk about adversity all the time and just pushing through, you know, the ups and downs and not getting too high or too low about things. And I think it's really rewarding that it was pretty much basically the same team as last year and our mentalities changed and we just, you could tell that we wanted it so much more this year. I remember it was like the coolest feeling of like, just like pride and just like accomplishing something that we set our, like set our hearts and our minds to like really early on in the season and it was so cool to like be a part of it and like really contribute and like just like love your team and just have like that accomplishment like really like define it was like such a cool thing. Northern Arizona dominating performance, three games to none. No question, no doubt, they are the Big Sky Champs. I'm so fortunate to be the coach of a tough group of kids. If there's a team in the country that earned, deserves it, it's this one. They've, they've come through a lot. They've had a lot of adversity, um, some ups and downs, finding themselves as individuals and as a team, and I'm just, I couldn't be happier for them. Couldn't be happier for them. You guys are like my best friends, and I'll totally miss, like, joking around with you like on the sidelines or like in servant pass and just like having that that bond that we've built over the past few years kind of it'll definitely be really missed to the seniors i want to say i had so much fun playing with you guys this year and i'm so happy i got to be part of your journey and I'm so thankful you're also a part of mine. And I am so appreciative of what you guys have done to this team and helped us do. We couldn't have done it without you. And um, thanks for a great season. <laughs> so this senior class is a little different for me. Um, oh, I'm about to cry. <laughs> there are three of my best friends and you guys have been here from the beginning. You've had my back and you've helped me grow so much and you taught me so many lessons. And I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you. Um, you will truly be missed on and off the court. Um, hopefully we can make you proud and win another championship. And um, yeah, I just love you guys and thank you for everything that you've done. I think NAU has been overlooked for years and I think those days are over. Um, we just built such an amazing program over the years that I can't wait to watch my fellow teammates right now and the new incoming teammates um, to just prosper and do great things here at NIU. I'm really excited for our coaching staff. Um, they deserve to be this successful, so it will be, be awesome to watch.